Okay, let's see what we got here. This is the X2 M1. And it looks like we've got a, a tab here. If we pull this across, let's see what happens. So we've got some packaging on the top here. Take that off. Set it aside. Mm, let's see. Some fabric grip pieces. like some uh, premium materials, a bag that we can burn on, and some different different materials in here, some tags, we'll get into that later. Some tools, it looks like. Maybe some fixtures. All right, let's set this over here. This is a bottom plate replacement screw, 10 pieces. Oh, very nice. This looks very interesting. Different size blocks here. Can't wait to see what those do. Let's just see if we can set this thing out. Just go ahead and lift it. It's not, it's not that big. Maybe 30 pounds. Let's see what we got in here. Okay. Oh, very nice. This is the uh, the rotary attachment. This is uh, the operations manual. So we've got a very detailed operations manual, how to assemble and probably how to operate it. Let's just take a peek in here, see what it looks like. Yeah, look at this. Very nice. Everything we need to do. Probably uh, insulated containers cups, glasses, that kind of thing. So that'll be a lot of fun. So we've got that. Let's see what the, okay, this is the lid. Hey, cool, here we go. So here, here it is. Very nice, nice uh, solid cabinet. This must be the start button here. The top has uh, some protective film on the top. We'll go ahead and take that off. See what kind of lid we have here. Appears to be a polycarbonate with a 
shield of some kind for probably for a laser flare. So that could be very good, so you don't have to worry about wearing glasses to protect your eyes from the from the laser. There it is. Okay. So the lid's pretty light. Um, it has a gasket all the way around. Magnets here. So the gasket comes all the way around. There's not one here, but all of this right here is a nice rubber neoprene gasket. So I'm sure that'll do a good job of sealing that off when you're cutting to try to keep the smoke and fumes, that kind of thing out. All right, so we have uh, a huge thank you card. And then here is the user's manual. Set that aside. All right, what do we have in here? This is a piece of material. Probably the first piece, it's a wood piece. And then, uh, we'll just go ahead and open it up here. Okay, so this, this right here is uh, looks like some vinyl material, textured vinyl material. And this appears to be like a decal type material, orange, so it can be cut and then it's a decal. Oh, nice. Um, here's a tag, like a dog tag for etching. You can see that. And then here's some more material. This also appears to be a decal of some kind. So it's white on the back. And this is three millimeter um, basswood, which I'm very familiar with using this. We use this for a lot of our products. And so it'll be really interesting to see how it does on this. I'm looking forward to cutting that. Okay, what do we have here? Okay, here's our exhaust hose. So it uh, looks to be about a three inch, three inch diameter exhaust hose. And these are the clamps, the hose clamps, and these are the kind that you squeeze, they open up, and then it clamps down for you. All right, power cord. Got the power cord to come here. Uh, this is the AC transformer here. So these two go together. I look at a pretty good size, um, pretty good size transformer there. So you got the power light here. Pretty heavy duty looking. And then we have a USB connector cord. So USB and then the two different types of uh, ends there. So this looks like it's probably the communication cable to connect this to your computer. There's a little box here. Let's see what's in the box. Replacement blades, okay. So the blades, one, two, three, four, five, five replacement blades. It's gonna be for the the knife cutter, you can see that. And then under here, we've got a few more things. Uh, fasteners, and this probably is used to fasten this device. So this is probably what connects to the back of the printer, to the, end of the tool, and, and then the hose connects to this. And then these are probably the fasteners for that. But we will try it out. Let's see. Let's set all this down. And then we're gonna take this out. So, some more polyurethane packaging. Nice heavy duty. That's a lot of uh, very good packaging right there. Very well packed. I'm impressed on how well this is packed. Okay. All right, so this must be the, let me see, open this up here. All right, so what do we have here? This is the triangular prism. So we'll find out what that is in a few minutes as we're starting this up. Okay. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing here, but there's another piece of packaging around the print head. And so there's nothing in it, just a nice solid piece of polyurethane here. And then here's the print head here. There are a couple more pieces in the bottom. 
and these appear to be more of the pads that go in the bottom so that you can place your your uh, your items and know exactly how big they are and where they're at so i will put these with the other ones over here so there you are i think that's everything all right So it looks like the lid fits down nicely, comes down to the back, sits down good here. And I really like that it's dark because that's going to protect your eyes from any of the really bright damaging uh, flare of the, of the laser and that's very good. I like that. So just a, a good size I think uh, for putting on your, on your desktop or having in your workshop. Uh, not huge. Like I said, this unit probably weighs 25, 30 pounds, but there's a very heavy, uh, thick, heavy metal base in here. I would say it's probably an eighth inch thick. Looks to be steel. So it has a good solid base uh, around it. So that looks pretty good. All right. I'm gonna turn it around and look at the back. So this is where the exhaust is going to go here. We'll put the exhaust on here. And then, um, let's see, this is where our communication goes. This is where our power goes. And this, I'm not sure about this, we'll find out shortly. I think this is where the uh, rotary tool plugs in. So based on what we saw a minute ago. So another note here is that the, the inside also has this film protective film so make sure you remove that but once you take that off then you know you can see through this pretty well but it's obviously providing some um some protection from the uh the laser which is very good okay so i unboxed everything unwrapped everything and got it here so that you can see everything that's uh inside the package here and this is the x tool and then these are the pads, the, uh, the sheets that go in the bottom, uh, and they're for different types of materials. The exhaust, the exhaust connection port that goes on the back with the, the, uh, the ring that holds the exhaust on this, because this has a fan and it has the exhaust uh, to the outside. Uh, spacer blocks, and then here's uh, the, the cutting head and this is the uh, probably an extra belt here. Um, so I'm not sure exactly what all this is yet, but we'll figure it out in a minute. And then here is the engraving rotary tool. I can't wait to try that out. And then there's the manual that comes with it. These are the prism bars, and these are actually what are put underneath your material. It allows the material to flow and ensures that uh, you don't have laser marks underneath your, your cuts here. So these are the power cables. Um, for giving power to the X tool. This is a USB communication port, and then these are extra blades. All right, so all, all this stuff over here came in the premium materials package, and I was blown away with how much material and the different types of material that came with this uh, package. And uh, I'll just show you kind of here. Uh, this is the, the booklet that tells everything that comes in the premium material package. So it's a very good description of everything in here, um, which device is used to process it, perimeters, precautions, and it is a very detailed, this, this is the back side of it, and then the inside, you see everything here. Um, we've got stainless steel dog tags, jewelry set, uh, metal cards, the card holders, like a, for business cards, uh, stone coasters and uh, laser marking colored paper which is for you know etching on ceramics mirrors trans uh, transparent glass etc and then also you got uh, your wood coaster uh, wood phone stand a ton of wooden tags some basswood plywood three millimeter black walnut plywood three millimeter craft paper and then uh, 
PU heat transfer that's vinyl, and then self-adhesive PVC sheet, white sticker paper, PU leather, color glossy PV sheet, it's transparent frosted PVC, and then a canvas tote bag. So tons of things, I'll put that back over there. Uh, tons of materials, this is the leather. So there's three different kinds of leather there. These are the tags, so tons of tags in here. They already have the hole on them, so you can just engrave right on them. And then here, here are the uh, dog tags. All these are stainless steel with a clasp. And then there's a necklace here with a, a band, the phone stand, and it's uh, looks like it's uh, maybe oak, uh, some type of wood. I'm not sure what that is, but it's uh, looks pretty heavy duty. Stainless steel card holder. And then here are all the cards, tons of cards. These are all aluminum painted type of aluminum that you can engrave on. These are the, the wood coasters. These are the slate coasters here. And then here's the, the walnut, the basswood. This is the, uh, the PVC sheets. And these are transparent. So check this out. If I hold this up, you know, you kind of see it's transparent. All of these are transparent and they're pretty, pretty thick. I'd probably say 10 or 15 mils thick and maybe even 20. They're pretty, pretty heavy duty, but there's uh, orange and green, red, so hold this up here, you can really see. Uh, this is uh, gonna be a, a really nice color here. So there's about three sheets, uh, three or four sheets. It's like four sheets of each one of those. And then this is the one that's frosty. You can kind of see that. It's kind of a frosty uh, colored vinyl. Uh, a ton of the, uh, the brown paper. Uh, then you've got white paper that has it's a it's like a decal and then this is um the transfer paper and there's a whole stack of it and then here's more uh of the, of the pvc i think or this is vinyl with the adhesive on the back uh, and then this is the the paper that's used to engrave and edge on uh transparent materials like glass and, and that kind of thing so i was really amazed at how much materials there are in here uh, pretty amazing uh, and then over here on this side is like the standard package here just uh, basic materials uh, some basswood uh, dog tag owner's manual which I've already read and and then a thank you note from the CEO which is very much appreciated so all right so I'm very excited to start using this thing so next thing I'm gonna do is connect it up and start trying it out So first, first laser burn on the M1X tool. And so uh, connecting up everything was very easy. Installing the software, very easy. The software is, uh, is very intuitive and um, very simple, but all the tools seem to be there that I would need uh, to import uh, artwork and you can, uh, it has tools for creating text and sizing text, moving things around, and then all the uh, power settings and that kind of thing. So, so far, looking good. We'll do some other things, but right now I'm just uh, engraving this uh, family monogram, monogram on this uh, pine uh, wafer here. And uh, this took about nine minutes is what it's estimated to take. Nine minutes on here, so not too shabby. So you need to have, be able to exhaust out the back. There is a fan inside that's blowing. And what I did is I just tied it into an existing exhaust fan that I have. I've got two different lasers in here and I've got this transfer blower that's pulling those fumes and uh, discharging those outside. So it makes it really easy uh, with no problem connecting up. I had to kind of create my own fitting here, but it worked out great, no problem so far, uh, no smells. Okay, so it just finished and I love this option right here. If you'll notice, process again. What an awesome thing you can do here. I mean, this saves a lot of time. Our other laser, uh, everything has to be reloaded 
and I love the option option of just processing again, avoiding a lot of setup time. So that is very nice. I like that. Okay, so here it is. We've got a lot of light in here. This is very nice. I like the fact that there's a lot of light in here. So you can see, um, there it is. And I just use the standard settings and uh, just did engrave. And it actually looks very nice. Uh, it's not very deep. I could probably make it deeper. But this is uh, looks pretty cool to me. I like it. Here's a sheet of uh, dollies that we cut. And you can see these right here are just little weights, little thumb weights to hold down the paper so it doesn't fly around uh, when it's being cut. There's not a whole lot of breeze in there, but just to make sure, I did have one or two that moved when I didn't use anything, so I just kind of made those right quick and uh, worked out pretty good. So there's about 25 on this sheet. I'm cutting four sheets thick, and I'm using a 100% power and about 19 speed, and it does an excellent job. Okay, so we're doing the dollies. You can see I've got it set up here. And this is how long it takes to do that many. Four layers thick, 27, 28 minutes. Right. Job complete. And there we are. So all I have to do is take these away, take all of this out, put another one in. And actually does a really nice job. This is a very intricate laser cut item. And um, you can see there's a little bit of stuff blowing around, but it actually does very good everything in place the little wooden pieces I just custom made these to uh, to kind of hold them down give a little resistance to the flow of air and it works very well so you can see all these little giblets from this last laser cut and uh, so what I did is I made this fixture out of acrylic and it helps with this cleanup a little bit you can see we can get uh, collect a bunch of this right here and it saves on cleanup time so then I can just take this and relatively clean just sweep it off a little bit and we're good to go then I'll just take this back over here and set it back down in here It also holds the prism bars exactly where I want them, so they're always in the same place. And then these little stops here, which creates a positive placement uh, in the, the x-axis, so that looks all good. Okay, we are going to try to engrave the uh, this dog tag here. This is part of the premium materials package, and this thing is about an inch and an eighth in diameter. Got it sitting on these bars. All right, so we're going to put my dog's name on here, and that happens to be Georgia. And so, whenever you set this up, you actually have a setting for all of the different materials that come with the premium materials. Uh, so it's a very nice, makes it very easy just to start cutting, burning, or engraving right off the bat. So here we got silver bone dog tag, which this one's not the shape of a bone, but there is one that's the shape of a bone. And then we simply, when you select these items here, uh, then you will see the settings here 
and we're going to do engrave. Um, output means do you want it to actually engrave or not? And we do. And then these are the settings for that particular material. So 100% power, speed's 25. So we'll say process. giving you a picture of what it's going to look like. You can also do a framing, which actually shows uh, exactly where it's going to go. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, so once you hit that, now you have to go over and hit this button, and then it's going to actually go over and show us, which I couldn't actually see that very well. Such a small item. So now we'll say framing completed. And now we're going to go ahead and start. I really like how fast this processes. So now when I hit this, it should go, should go to work. Yeah, we can't see much in there, but we'll look at it once it's done. Okay, it's finished, so let's take a look and see what it looks like. Pull that out of here, and see, get a better shot in here. Yeah, so it's pretty, pretty good, actually. 